In this video, we'll take a look at filtering a pivot table by date. Here's the source data. So we've got an order date, the requested delivery date, and a ship date, and other information about each order. For the ship date in this table, I can click the drop down. There are date filters, and there's a variety of options. So I could look at the orders for this week or last week. So I'll click this week, and it filters the table and just shows me those orders. But if I go to the pivot table, I've got that same field up in the report filters area. But when I click the drop down here, I just see a list of dates. So I can click here to select multiple items and then select specific dates. But I don't have those dynamic date options that I have in the table. So I'm going to cancel here. I'm going to move the ship date. So instead of being in the report filters area, it's going to be down in the row labels. So in the pivot table field list, here are the filters. I'm going to drag ship date down so it's below product. It's going to be the last field in the row labels area. I can see it now, but it's showing everything. I'll click the arrow here. And in the row labels, we do have date filters. So I can filter it for this week. And now only the orders for this week are showing and the total for the east is 955. But that makes my pivot table quite a bit bigger. If I'd like to keep that filter but hide all the dates, I can collapse it. So I'll right click, point to expand, collapse, and collapse entire field. So the heading is still there, but all the dates have disappeared and we have a nice compact pivot table again. The total is still the same. And if I point to this filter button, it shows that the filter for ship date is this week. So it keeps that filter in place and you could even hide this column if you wanted to. I've got the pivot table in an outline layout. And to do that, I went to the design tab, report layout, and it's in outline form. So to use a dynamic date range filter in a pivot table, put that field into the row or column area and then filter and collapse the field if you just want the summary. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.